He's been called many things, from a vigilante to a hero, but today he is simply the newest ally in New York City's war on crime. Ladies and gentlemen, as New York City's police commissioner, I am pleased to introduce to you Gotham City's own Cape Crusader, the Batman, as the newest crime fighter in our great city. Today I will explain why Batman is needed in New York City and share with you both his history as a detective and qualifications as a crime fighter. First I will explain why now more than ever, Batman is needed in New York City as our newest crime fighter. Despite the best efforts of the New York City Police Department, statistics prove we are suffering through a crime epidemic. According to the New York Police Department ComStat Unit, in 2007, 640, or 2001, 649 murders, 1,930 rapes, and 27,873 robberies were reported. Additionally, in 2007, 496 murders, 1,303 rapes, and 21,736 robberies were reported. Although statistics show a decrease in crime, the sheer number of crimes committed in our city and against our citizens is outrageous and unacceptable. In addition to the crime epidemic currently plaguing our city, the strength of our police force is dwindling as budget cuts force us to continue to lose to reduce the number of officers in our department. As Kelly Burke of the Daily News reported in 2008, I recently announced that the New York Police Department would be losing 1,000 officers. This reduces the number of officers in the city to the lowest number in 16 years. Now that I have explained why we need Batman as the newest crime fighter in our city, I will explain his history as a detective and qualifications as a crime fighter. Batman has, long, has a long history of being considered one of the world's greatest detectives. Although initially believed to be a comic book urban legend, widespread public knowledge of the actual existence of Batman first occurred after author Bill Finger chronicled his crime fighting adventures in the monthly periodical Detective Comics. After these stories quickly gained popularity, a second compilation of his achievements, also documented by Finger, entitled The Batman, began publication monthly as well. Batman has also proven himself to be an invaluable team leader. Um, as reported by author Gardner Fox, Batman, alongside other superheroes, Wonder Woman, Superman, The Flash, and The Green Lantern, was a founding member of the team and team leader of world peacekeeping group, The Justice League. Batman is also the leader of what is known to citizens of Gotham City as the Batman family, consisting of his sidekicks Batgirl, Nightwing, and Robin. His experience as a team leader of both the Justice League and the Batman family more than proved that he is qualified and will be an invaluable ally to the New York City's police force. In addition to his qualifications as a solo detective and leader of the Justice League, Batman has also a long history of defending Gotham City <coughs> and the world from superpower terrorists like the Joker, the Two-Face, the Riddler, and many more. So ladies and gentlemen, I am New York City's Police Commissioner, and today I've been pleased to introduce to you Batman as the newest addition to our crime fighting force. I've explained why he's needed, and I've shared with you his history and qualifications as a crime fighter. It is my sincere promise that with the aid of Batman, your streets will once again be safe day and night.